works. Hey guys, I'm Adam Leng and today we are building a Node.js application for machine learning. So the first question that might pop into your head is why Node.js and not Python? Well, because after doing the answer this bot, I've incurred all the costs from Google Cloud and started to search a way to do machine learning and upload it or deploy it online, but uh, well, not really pay for the servers. So this is why Node.js and I think that it's a great project for any of you guys who already are coding in JavaScript to do some machine learning in an easy way and for those who are doing it in Python just to transition and make a web app without a server and again without any costs. So without any further ado, we can just get into it and see what we can actually make today. So here you can see uh, the application that I showcased in a previous video. It should pop up somewhere around here or here. And it's a simple app that just tries to make you sit straight in front of your PC. And that's a problem that I had for quite a while. So. Just a quick recap how it works. It has three buttons, so straight, slouch, and start me. You just press a button, keep it when you're straight, and then the same you do for the slouched one. And then you can just calculate the score. And if you can see that if I'm straight, it's gonna say that I'm straight and it's fine. The score is about 100. And if I'm slouch, the score is dropping down, and if it drops down significantly, it should... Yeah. So, yeah, that sound should make you uh, be straight again. <laughs> so, what we are gonna do today is pretty much recreate this application using the boilerplate provided by Google Creative Lab. So let's get into the code and the GitHub repository. So before jumping into the repository, I would nicely ask you to like and subscribe and then open the link which I will provide down in the description below. So the first thing you'll see is the readme of course and it has three sections. So a simple explanation what the app is about. Uh, then uh, how to make your own section and then the deployment section So today we're gonna cover just how to make your own if you want to know a bit more about the app uh, More than the demo that I showed you you can read a bit here and don't forget to watch the video Which I will put somewhere around here about the application itself So yeah, the instructions are short and uh, a bit vague because you have quite a, a bit of free space uh, on your own. So what you need to do first of all is to decide on the number of classes and to decide what features you want to have in your application. So let's just turn on my, my application as an example. Uh, the boilerplate is pretty much the same, just a bit of change in style. But yeah, uh, why do you need the number of classes? So the number of classes impacts your additional features if you want them. So here I have two classes, straight and slouched. So I calculate the score for each of them, the accuracy that you see here, well, the probability of the class. And then I calculate the rating that you can see here, down here, the start me. So if I'm slouched again, the rating will go down and if I straighten up it will go up yeah so essentially it's it goes together with the number of classes that i'm using because i'm calculating a rating uh, for you guys i suggest making two classes as well because it's just easier to start with two classes and for most of, of things you well actually need two classes well if it's a cat or a dog type of thing but yeah uh, decide on the number of classes and decide on the additional features that you want because, as I said, those come together. And all you need to do next is clone the boilerplate repository. The link for it is actually 
here and I think I'll just move it to the point here. So you need to, to, to clone the repository. I think I have already cloned it. No, I don't. Yeah, so to clone the repository, just type git clone and then the repository link. Yeah, and then and you'll open the repository, well, the directory that you clone the repository in. You'll uh, see the same view that I, I see. And there's a specifically important file that you should check out at first. It's the package.json. And under the script section, you'll see there's a start script and a build script. And those scripts are used basically to build the application and then start it locally. And we will use those just to see how our application is developing. Is everything fine and does it work in a way that we want it to work? So just keep those in mind. And of course, you always can go just to the repository itself and you'll see the same information here as well. So yeah, let's get into the building part of it. So you have cloned the repository and you opened it in your selection of uh, editor. The first thing you wanna do is install the npm packages and to do that, you're gonna go just to the directory of the repository and type npm install. And while it's installing, we can just check uh, a couple of files here. So main.js, js, sorry, main.js is the file that you want to edit for your application. Uh, then you'll see that there's a directory called dist in which there is a build.js. So we won't touch that and this uh, will be changed when we will uh, do the build script, so npm build. So yeah, you don't need to touch that. The contents of main.js will be transferred to this. And then that's pretty much it. The index.html will dictate how the application will look like. We'll do a bit, some, a bit of changes here to change the style of the application. And yeah, we'll just head to main.js JS, and, uh, and do our changes. But before that, I think it's crucial just to check out how the boilerplate image looks itself. So for that, you'll just type npm start. It will start uh, in our local machine. And then we can check the app here. So it doesn't differ too much from the slouching application. You can see there's three classes instead of two. There's the web camera input. Yeah, I'll just increase that. So there's three classes with three buttons, a web camera input, and that's basically it. So if you click a button and keep it clicked as you would uh, with the like button on this video, You'll see that uh, it gathers examples from the video input here. Uh, the percentage here is the probability of the class. If you'll add another class, so let's say with a hand. Yeah, you'll see that it gets that quite well. And the same with the third class. So I don't know, just let's do that. See how it gets it. Cool. So, you see it works quite well out of the box. Well, not quite well, it works perfectly. And uh, yeah, what we're gonna do now is make just two classes out of those three. Add the additional feature of score calculation and then the sound and change the style a bit. So let's get into it. So as I said before, we're gonna make a couple of changes and those changes should be made in main.js. Uh, you can see that any change that you'll make if uh, the server is still running as it's here, 
So let's say I'll change the number of classes from three to two. I'll save it and the app restarts and we can see here we have two classes now instead of three so the changes take effect immediately what we're gonna add more to the application uh, we'll add a header here because you can see that this is the start of the of the document it just appends the video element to it and then it creates the training buttons and we want to name those separately so we won't do it the same as it's here so we'll just define a couple of names for those and with the webcam setup we won't do a thing what will change as well will be here in the animate function so here in the animate function you'll see that the actual calculation of the class probability takes place so if you want to make uh, any changes uh, regarding the classes themselves like uh, the same the same score counter that i have you'll need to do that in here just because this is the place where the classes are actually uh, calculated so you can see that the prediction is here what it does it just uh, well predicts the class of the image that is currently on from the input of your web camera uh, you can see that it uses a canon for for the prediction itself but actually the whole algorithm is trained on mobile net then they take just the last layer of the convolutions and feed that as an input into KNN to train it and then request the predictions from the KNN back after they are they already are trained so yeah uh, if as I said if you want to make changes uh, which would take the classification into account you need to do those in here so i'll do the changes and we can just review the code because well it's quite boring to see me type a bunch of lines so we want to add an additional package well more specifically two of those to first of all play the sound and the second one will be just to have a nice minimalist style for the application so if you want to install additional package for the application just find the package that you want and then npm install and then the package name so in our case howler well installs the package i'll just uncomment the lines for the sound and we'll check if it works and additional here so we save again now we run npm start go to our app reload it okay so we'll just add some classes this is straight this is slouched Start. Yeah, it works. Cool. So, installing the package uh, just like that is not enough uh, because, well, you'll want to share the application, upload it to GitHub or any other Git resource that you use. So what you're gonna do is go to that before mentioned package.json file and you can see that Howler is already here. So what happened is that when you install the package you still need to check it but you'll see that there's a new package with a new name and if it's there it's fine, you can upload the application, but just be sure to always check if it got to the dependencies section in the package.json. 
So just to check that, we can now install our CSS framework package, Milligram. So Milligram is just a minimalist CSS framework I found within like five minutes of Googling. Here's on the NPM, so yeah, still need to actually install it. So once again, just npm install telegram and it has two L's, this is why it didn't work. Yep, it works now. And if you go to the package.json, we'll see that it's here as well. But as always, just check that your packages are there. So we have both packages that we wanted. And for the milligram style, all we need to do, I think, is change the index HTML based on their tutorial. So what we want to do with the milligram package is change our index.html to use the CSS framework from them. I have it set it up already here. So we can just copy this part from the, from the heads. And I think I'll just, yep. We'll just change that and of course we want to change the title amazing slouching f cool and again we want to change the window size i think as well yeah style of the content for the margins here and I did a mistake because I didn't intend the style. Cool. And this is how it's done. Yeah. And I think we'll just do that here. Cool. We save it. And we now run our application once again. And here it is. All nice and cleaned up with a nice style. So that's basically it. We made our application from the boilerplate provided by the Google Creative Lab. And the application is based on TensorFlow.js, which is a machine learning framework for Node.js and JavaScript in general. As I said, you can do your own models here as well. Just go to the TensorFlow.js, see tutorials, and there's a convert pre-trained models to TensorFlow.js. And that's gonna be it for this video. Just uh, made an amazing slouching app, and you can make one yourself. If you are a JavaScript developer or a Python developer, you can easily use the boilerplate and do it in, what, like half an hour. So like subscribe share and do the apps and leave a comment down below if you deploy it and just want to share your app with us bye